Hey guys, in today's video, I simply want to share what I've learned after two and a half years of living as a minimalist. For those of you who don't know, at the beginning of 2014, I got offered an internship in New York City. At the time I was living in Austria, I moved out, I moved to New York City. And of course, at the time I did had quite a bit of stuff and I moved from having quite a bit of stuff to fitting everything into a big suitcase in the carry-on. Less stuff means less worries. When I lose something these days, I don't worry about it. I decide on the spot, do I need to replace this item or am, am I fine without it? If I'm fine without it, of course, don't take any action. And if I need to replace it, I try to get it secondhand. And if I can't find it secondhand, I buy it new. Previously, Whenever I did lose something or misplace something, I worried about it all day. Ever since I got rid of the majority of my material possessions, when I do lose something, I'm maybe upset or uncomfortable for two seconds. But then I remind myself, oh, actually, it's just stuff. What are you doing? Get back to what you've been doing and don't worry about it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So, yes, less stuff for me means less stress and less worries. Initially, when I decluttered, my mom was really surprised and a bit resistant because I got rid of a lot of stuff. And please bear in mind in my videos, whenever I say I get rid of something, I mean in a responsible manner. Well, my mom initially wasn't quite comfortable with me getting rid of a lot of items. Today, she absolutely is. Recently, I visited my family in Austria and since I moved out, my family moved apartments and they too got rid of a bunch of stuff. And they told me that well, they personally couldn't do it themselves or wouldn't want to live the life I'm living themselves. They respect my decision. And that coming from them really means a lot to me. What I want to say with this is that initially people may not be fond of you decluttering and that could be anyone. Those could be people you're living with, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, someone you're close to, your sister, your brother, whoever it is, people will or may show some sort of resistance towards you changing. Hang in there, do whatever it is that you want to do and continue doing it. I'm buying a lot less and I only buy what I truly need. Whenever I do need something, the first places I seek are secondhand stores, online as well as offline. If I'm unable to find something secondhand, I of course buy it new. And when I buy new, I always try to buy from an ethically manufactured place. Living minimal and living with less has taught me that my material possessions are simply not all that valuable to me. I'm simply buying a lot less and only what I truly need. I've always been frugal and by frugal, I mean, I'm always trying to spend as little money as possible. I hardly ever buy lunch. When I work, I always meal prep and I consider lots of things as not really necessary things to spend money on. I'm spending my money a lot more wisely. I don't spend a lot of money on clothing. I spend very little money, in my opinion, on food. I only buy what's necessary. And I was frugal previously, but what I am now is on a completely different level. And I am much more or even more aware on what I spend my money on. I also keep track of every single penny I spent and have been doing so for I believe now 
over two years, almost, yeah, almost two and a half years. The last point is I feel free. I love moving around. I love traveling. And I couldn't do all those things the way I'm doing them now if I would have a lot more stuff. I'm by no means saying that I have the smallest amount of stuff because that's not the case and that's not my intention. I simply have what I truly need and that of course varies from person to person. Living light simply allows me to live the life that I want to live. And while I could move a lot and travel a lot with having a bunch of stuff, it wouldn't be as efficient as it is for me now. For example, right now I'm sharing a room with my babe and if the two of us would have a bunch of stuff, we simply wouldn't be able to share a room or we would need to get extra storage space to store our stuff because there's no way that two people can share a room with a bunch of stuff on top of it all. I would say have a closer look at what you want your life to look like. What is it that you want to do? How do you envision your life to be a year, two years, three years down the line? Even if you're located somewhere permanently and have no intention to move anywhere, anytime soon or ever again, which is not a bad thing, not necessarily, less stuff can still help you. You will have more space, more time, more freedom, possibly more money depending on your situation. No matter what your situation is, living with less will in some way improve your life. It surely has improved mine and after two and a half years of living very minimalistic, I can wholeheartedly say that the only thing that I regret is not having done it earlier. I would love to hear if you are living minimal, what steps you have taken to have less stuff and how you have found yourself moving towards a more minimalist lifestyle. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. You can also always email me or you can ask me on my Tumblr. I just said it really weird. Tumblr. I hope you have a lovely day and see you guys next time.